These thoughts and meditations aren't just about this picture, but it's about the whole theme of rainbows. But have this picture before you. This picture of the hands of Jesus Christ around a child. Siga Kurda seemed to me to love painting rainbows. I came across this picture in a sale catalogue recently. It's one we've done recently, Miriam dancing. But if you look at her clothes, the suddenly changed into the colours of a rainbow. And he uses rainbows, especially when children are involved, and to talk about the inclusivity of communion and Christianity. We're going to start with this picture. The story is that uh, there's been a great flood. Noah's take got an ark. He's put in it two animals of every type and his family. And as the waters seem to recede, he sends out a raven, which you can see in the foreground, and then a dove who brings back an olive branch. This is the picture of the dove and the olive branch. And it's all about a new world, a new promise that comes with a rainbow. The scripture reading is this, it's from Genesis. Then God spoke to Noah and his sons. He said to you, I'm setting a binding agreement between you and your children and all who will come after you. Along with everything alive. Birds, farm animals, wild animals that came out of the ship with you. I'm setting up this agreement that I'm never going to destroy the world again. And God continued. This agreement that I'm making between you and everything living and everyone living after me. I'm putting a rainbow in the clouds, a sign of that agreement between me and the earth. From now on, whenever I form a cloud over the earth and the rainbow appears in the cloud, I will remember this agreement. Between me and you and every living thing, that you'll never see flood waters again to destroy all life. And when the rainbow appears in the cloud, you can see it and remember the covenant between God and everything living. The rainbow then is a symbol that God is going to save and preserve the world. And every time you see a rainbow, it's a reminder of God's great goodness. His love for humanity. And God enlists physics to help us to remember this agreement. When sunlight strikes water droplets in the air, it's refracted into a spectrum of colours. Red, orange, green, yellow, green, blue, indigo, violet. And reminds us God's promises for now, for the future. It's like an everyday sacrament, a reminder of the divine presence of God. This is Ziga Kurda, a picture of Jesus blessing the children. The story is that people brought children to Jesus hoping he would touch them and bless them, but the disciples shooed them off and they're in the background in the brown mess of the picture. But Jesus was irate. He said, don't push the children away. Don't ever get between them and me. Children are the very centre of life in the kingdom. In fact, unless you become and accept God's kingdom like a child, with that amount of simplicity, you'll never get in. And he gathered the children and his arms surrounded them and blessed them. A rainbow blessing. And so we come to today's picture. It's the picture of the hands of Jesus blessing a child. Somebody once told me this, that a rainbow is, like, uh, a, rainbow is a picture of Jesus. If you take the colours, red represents his blood. It's the only way to God. Orange, a warning. Repent. You must be born again. Watch out yellow sunlight because he's the light of the world green new life he gives life to us blue heaven where he came from purple the color of royalty and i love this picture of jesus blessing a child 
saying, listen, my blood, my light, my life, my heaven, my kingship is for you. Sigurd Kurda also uses rainbows in another way to represent the inclusivity of everybody and how they can approach Jesus. This is the most famous picture that he painted about communion, the inclusive feast offered to the world so that we might know Jesus, we might know Jesus with us, we might know Jesus present with us. And as often in his painting, the table and guests, guests are seen from the point of view of Jesus. This is another picture of Jesus offering bread and wine. On the back wall is an etching of the prodigal son with the father and the son embracing while the older brother looks away. And the prodigal son's story is about rejection of grace, reception of grace and reconciliation. And in this picture, you see the disciples are replaced with a Jew, a prostitute, a beggar, a misfit clown, a scholar, a rich woman, a migrant refugee with damaged, bandaged hands. And the hands of Jesus breaking bread at the front, looking towards this motley rainbow crew. It's a lovely picture of Christ's table filled with minorities together. Again, this is another rainbow picture. Jesus offers the bread and the wine. This time it represents Matthew 25. A nun hands medicine to a sick person. I was sick and you healed me. A woman in blue welcomes a stranger. I was a stranger and you welcomed me in. A man visits a prisoner, probably a prisoner in a concentration camp. I was a prisoner and you visited me. The poster said, clothes for the third world. I was naked and you clothed me. And the black hands receive food. You were hungry and you fed me. Another Eucharist picture of a rainbow. And this time the food is offered to the rainbow of the nations. The feast is ready. The table lay, there's fish, there's rice, there's fruit. And Jesus' scarred hands offer the bread to the rainbow world. And last of all, we come to my favourite. In God's great rainbow feast, where everyone's welcome, all are invited. In the kingdom of God, children are at the heart of it. All are welcome to receive the rainbow blessings of God through Jesus in bread and wine. Listen to this song. journey come wait a while stay a while welcome you'll be come all you questioners looking for answers and searching for reasons and sense in it all come all you fallen and come all you broken find strength for your body and food for your soul come to the feast there is room at the table come let us meet in this place with the king of all kindness who welcomes us in With the wonder of love and the power of grace The wonder of love and the power of grace Come those who worry about how and money and all those who don't have a care in the world from every station and orientation the helpless the hopeless the young and the old 
Come to the feast, there is room at the table. Come, let us meet in this place with the king of all kindness who welcomes us in with the wonder of love and the power of grace. The wonder of love and the power of grace. And dreamers and schemers And come all you restless Just searching for home Movers and shakers And givers and takers The happy, the sad The lost and alone Come self-sufficient With wearied ambition And come those who feel At the end of the road 